As the United Nations independent poverty expert, I have become convinced that the traditional approach to combating poverty, to grow the economy first and then redistribute the wealth, is no longer fit for purpose. In the name of GDP, we are pushing the planet beyond its limits and creating vast and growing gaps between the rich and the poor. What use is growing the global economy when it is burning the planet and funneling the majority of its wealth to the super rich? Our fixation with the idea that more economic growth will solve global poverty is not only wrong, it is dangerous. We are exhausting the planet and its people. The fight against poverty needs an urgent rethink. We need new solutions that don't rely on endless economic growth at all costs. As the United Nations Special Rapporteur on Extreme Poverty and Human Rights, I am committed to co-designing this new approach to combating poverty, one with human rights at its core. And I'm not alone. There's a growing movement from all corners of the world that recognizes that economic growth as a universal prescription is simply not working. Together, we have already begun to forge a new way forward, uncovering hugely promising ideas that will expand our toolbox in the fight against poverty, from radical shifts in how we live and work to new ways to finance public services. I am now taking our findings to the UN and other international organizations, particularly those working on the global goals that will follow the Sustainable Development Goals when they expire in 2030. The SDGs committed to eradicating extreme poverty by 2030, with 575 million people expected to be still living in extreme poverty by 2030, we are nowhere near this objective. But by daring to think outside the box and by moving away from business as usual, we can get it right this time. Find out more at srpoverty.org and join this movement for a sustainable world without poverty.